Um, Letty Games is uh, an African game company, so I took the Letty from my tribe, but I'm an Ewe, so Letty means um, star or moon. Yeah. yeah, my my dream for Africa is to make gaming and multimedia application programming a major African profession. I uh, like that is my dream because I feel that games can change our lifestyle. If Africa should embrace game programming, things will change. I'm trying to start something in the universities mm -hmm. so that I can uh, get people, I can organize garage, garages in the universities. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, what universities do you have in mind? Uh, my, my university is the first because after my year, I was the only one who did a game in my year group. And I heard five other people, five other brilliant game projects to have people from my university. So I'm trying to gather all these guys. Then we go back to our university. And then to my university, actually, I'm, I want to start from my university first, get some really strong team there, and then I can extend to the private universities where Nigerians, Kenyans, South Africans all come together. And we can even collectively compete with the outside. Um, game developers. Yeah, game developers. Because Microsoft organizes these competitions yearly, right? Between um, continents. So Africa can also. How can we help you make this dream come true? Oh, just, just, just play the games. <laughs> yeah, play the games and change your mentality. Like mostly, how we see games like these are for kids. Games are never for kids. They, they are there to, to. Um, challenge your thinking, right? So that kind of mentality, parents just telling kids, hey, don't play games or, that's what my dad didn't do. Uh, I, I really appreciate what my dad did for me. He just uh, like, encouraged me, yeah, play this, do this. And then I found my way doing that eventually. So, so I think that's what Africans should do for me. You should just change your mentality of games know that games are not something that I just, it's just time for fun, but it's to really stress and play with you, challenge you. Thank you very much. Yes. So you just shake the phone and it starts in the box, start spawning and just start to crash them. <laughs> you get more and more as you crush, as you crush, and then um, goodies are supplied, so that's an insecticide, <laughs> <laughs> it slows them down. And then you have bombs, time bombs, and other stuff. Let me crash until cockroaches start coming. Let me try that. But the stage two actually, the bats bite. Ouch! So, this is that's a time bomb. <laughs> You can try the the other game. The, you can game. try the level two. So level two is it. So the ants come out from the leaves. Mm. So these are red ants. And if you put your finger on the screen, Ouch. they like they move to and bite you. <laughs> yeah, that's, nice. that's a special thing here. Nice. So it's called safari protection. I'm going to new game and then um, we have very fancy features using the accelerometer so that you can shake to shoot <laughs> you can you can <laughs> press to shoot or you can tap tap the screen to shoot shoot the animals or swipe swipe to shoot right, the whole idea of the game is there these are supposed to be lions and hyenas mm -hmm. and um, leopards, right? And then you feed them. This is supposed to be a catapult with a bushman pushing it. 
Do we ever see the Bushman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the Bushman. When the Bushman is angry or he's chanting, he will be murmuring, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I have some sound samples that the guy we contracted have made that I'll be putting in soon, which will make it <coughs> more addictive. So, so that's what I'm doing. Very now. nice. I'm just putting to, together mechanics. Okay. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah.